Hello friends, a very very good afternoon to all of you and welcome back once again on the YouTube channel of Baidu's Exam Prep. I'm Gaurav Gupta and uh, I welcome all the aspirants for CMAT 2024 in this new series uh, in which we'll be discussing 100 most expected questions on logical reasoning and yes like since this is the new series so this is part number one of uh, this series of sessions. Now previously we have been conducting uh, different sessions in which we were discussing important questions on logical reasoning. On the similar lines uh, these uh, sessions are created and uh, like uh, does not matter with the name but uh, uh, the important thing here is we will be discussing some more like most expected questions that can find in logical reasoning in your CMAT examination. So friends, in today's session, uh, once again, I'll be discussing some questions uh, from different areas of logical reasoning that will help you in uh, uh, basically <coughs> clarifying some of the concepts uh, in which you are lacking. Or I can say that if you have already finished your syllabus, then these sessions will help you in uh, revising each and every topic that you have studied. All right. So let's start solving the questions in 100 most expected questions of logical reasoning part number one. Now today I'll be covering somewhere around 10 to 12 questions in this session from different areas of logical reasoning. I'll be displaying all these questions one by one. We'll be giving you around 45 seconds to one minute to think upon every question to find out the answer and then post it in the chat box. All right. So all of you, please be attentive and uh, please uh, like uh, solve all these questions and post your answers in the chat box okay Chaliye. so let's start with the question number one so question number one on your screen a very simple straightforward question on uh, series so missing term in the series avani a very good afternoon to you good afternoon to other students as well so select the correct option that will fill in the blank and complete the series so the numbers are 2, 4, 16, 22, then a blank, and then 186. So which number will fill in this series, will complete this series? I want all of you to be responding in the similar manner the way you have been doing in the previous sessions. Come on, already the first question is on your screen. I want a quick answer for this one. Any answer for this one? Okay, so let's uh, look at the logic behind this. <coughs> it's not that difficult. Okay, so friends, good. So 176, the first student to respond. All right, now I'll look at this part. Uh, 16 say 22, how add hua hai? We have added six here. But here, addition is not working. Four multiply by 4 is 16 so plus 6 multiply 4 and here i can say that it is plus 2 so alternately it is plus multiply plus multiply and the value uh, with which you are adding it or you are multiplying it is increasing by 2 so plus 2 multiply 4 plus 6 so the next thing that should follow here will be or should be multiply 8 okay so i'll multiply it by 8 and we'll see if it is following for the next term as well now 22 multiply 8 is 176 and then from 176 to 186 it should be plus 10 so 176 plus 10 yes it is 186 so yes this logic is fitting in here 
and uh, we can say that 176 should be the correct answer of this question. All right. So three students have already given a correct answer. 176 option B is the correct answer of the first question. All right. So let's move on and look at the next question. We are just warming up uh, with the with some easy questions. So now this is uh, uh, a series having alphabets. Okay, so series is given and uh, one term is missing again. Choose the correct alternative from the given option that will complete the series. You should not be taking more than 15 seconds to answer this. Not more than 15 seconds. All right, nice. Now it should not take a lot of time here. Now I just check the first alphabet of uh, all these terms. Okay. Now L plus 2 is N. Okay, so L and N are separated by only one alphabet. There is only one alphabet. So L plus 2 is N. N plus 2 is P. So P plus 2. So P ke baad Q, R. So my answer should start with R. Okay, now since there is only one option that starts with R, there is no need to check the remaining portion of the answer. You can straight away mark the answer as option B that is uh, RSD. Now option B RSD given by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wonderful. Good response from all of you. Nice. So I think the warm up has been done. Now let's look at our next set of questions. <clears throat> so question number 3. Find the missing term once again. Now this is an alphanumeric series. Try to increase your speed, all of you. Any answer for this one? Okay, the first one. I think there should not be any confusion as far as the alphabet is concerned. Okay. Now in all the four options, the first alphabet is G. So there is no need to waste time in finding the answer for the first alphabet. So answer should start with G. Okay. Now look at the third alphabet, the last alphabet, C, E, G, dash, K. So again, they are separated by one. C plus 2 is E, E plus 2 is G, G plus 2 should be I. So my answer should start with G and end in I, <clears throat> right? So I can uh, select two options which are following this condition. Now the important thing is the middle part, the number. Now number is 3, 15, 35, dash and 99, okay? <clears throat> Now, 3 plus 12 is 15, 15 plus 20 is 35, okay? So earlier the difference was 12, <coughs> now the difference is 20. The difference has increased by 8, as I can say, that the difference is 8 se increase hua hai. So if I'll apply the same thing and increase the difference by 8, so that means in the next case, the difference should be 28, 
लेट्स चेक इट आउट इफ इट इज फॉलोइंग द लॉजिक सो अभी 28 है डिफरेंस नेक्स्ट डिफरेंस कितना होना चाहिए इट शुड बी 36 ठीक है सो 35 प्लस 28 इज 63 Now just check if 63 plus 36 is 99. 63 plus 36, yes, it is equal to 99. So we can say that uh, the logic fits in, and 63 should be the middle part of the answer. Okay, so the final answer should be G 63 I. That is option B. So option B is the correct answer. Okay. All right. So uh, some different logic is given by different students. So they are saying that three is one into three, fifteen is three into five, thirty-five is five into seven. Okay. So it should be seven into nine, nine into eleven. Seven into nine is sixty-three. This is also a wonderful logic. So yes, uh, uh, I have given you one logic. You have also given me one logic. Both the logics are fitting in and giving the same answer. So you can go with any logic. The answer should be correct. The answer should be same. Okay, so the correct answer here is option B. Let's look at the next question, question number four. Now, question number four is a very simple question on calendars. Now, question says that Mrs. Sushila celebrated her wedding anniversary on Tuesday. 30th September 1997. So they are saying that 30th September 1997 is a Tuesday. So question is, when will she celebrate her next wedding anniversary on the same day? So when will 30th September once again will fall on a Tuesday? So this is a basic concept of a repetition of calendars. Oh, it's the first time uh, I am looking at different answers from some of you. Okay, so friends, Sonu and Aryan, three students have given an answer. Oh, so there is a clash between option A and option B. Now, in such questions uh, of repetition of calendars, what you can uh, always do is uh, you can keep increasing the years by one, 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 and uh, just check uh, what will be added to the day or what will be the number of odd days. Okay. Now, here you will have to take care about the leap year, right? Now, to save some time, you can directly add four years. Because you can say that in four consecutive years, in four consecutive years, if if we are adding four consecutive years, so there will be three normal years and one leap year, right? So if this is the case, if we are adding four consecutive years, we will be having five odd days in four consecutive years. Okay, I'll repeat: four consecutive years, which will be comprised of three normal years and one leap year. Will have in total five odd days. Okay, so repetition of calendars may is like if you directly add four years, it will save your time. Okay, so on the first step, just add four years. So nineteen ninety seven plus four years will be two thousand one. Okay, and here five will be added. Right, four consecutive years will have five odd days. So Tuesday plus five is a Sunday. Right, so thirtieth September. 2001 is a Sunday. It is not a Tuesday, so definitely 2001 answer nahi hoga. ठीक है? Okay. Now, now start adding one one years. So 30th September 2001 is a Sunday. 30th September 2002. So 2002 is a normal year. So we will add one. So Sunday plus one, it is a Monday. I will stop at a Tuesday. ठीक है? So keep adding. 
So next year, 2003, again, it's a normal year. So once again, there will be one odd day. So Monday plus one, it's a Tuesday. All right. Now, 1997 was a Tuesday. 2003 is also a Tuesday. So we can say that 2003 will be the answer of this question. Okay. So 30th September 2003 will again be a Tuesday. And this is uh, the, the date when uh, she will celebrate her next wedding anniversary on the same day that is a Tuesday. So the correct answer should be 30th September 2003, option A. All right. Students who have given a different answer, I hope they have understood what mistake they have made. So answer is option A. Let's move on and look at the next question, question number five. Now the question is of uh, circular seating arrangements. So there are six friends P Q R S T U who are sitting around a circular table, like uh, who are sitting around a circle facing the center. Okay, and there are three conditions using which you will have to uh, basically arrange these people. Okay, so Smruti, uh, you are basically asking me to conduct sessions uh, in which I can teach you calendars. Okay, so Smruti, I take your request and uh, in uh, upcoming days, I will try to conduct separate sessions in which I'll be covering some logics, let's say on clocks, calendars and so on and so forth. Okay, so Smruti, yes, I will conduct a session. But uh, if you will search on YouTube, so I have already taken calendars, clocks in uh, some of the sessions, not in the uh, near past, but uh, in the last year, I have conducted a lot of sessions in which I have explained the concepts of clocks and calendars. Okay, so you can search with my name on uh, the Baiju's, uh, Baiju's channel only. Okay, uh, be careful with the spelling of my name. All right. So search uh, calendars uh, and uh, put in my name and you will definitely find a session on that. Now you are lucky that I could find this session. So Smriti, I am uh, posting the link of that session. It might help you. Okay. So I have taken this session. Uh, please have a look at it and uh, you will be benefited uh, with this session. Okay. So let's look at this question, question number five without wasting any time. So six friends P, Q, R, S, T and U are sitting around a circular table facing the center. So I'll quickly draw a circle. Just give me a few seconds. Okay. So I have drawn a circle. Now six friends are sitting, so I will mark six points where every two points are opposite to each other. I'll number these points one, two, three, four, five, six. Smriti, have a look at this session, uh, attend this session and I will search some more sessions on calendars and will post in the chat box once this session is over. Okay. All right. <laughs> Now, the first condition says that Q sits second to the left of P. 
So if I'll make P sit at chair number four, then Q will be sitting at chair number six, second to the left of P. E. All right. So that was the first statement. Second statement. Only one person sits between Q and R. So between Q and R, there is one person. Now Q is already sitting at chair number six. R can sit at chair number four or chair number two. There can be two possibilities. But chair number four is already occupied. So R has to sit at chair number two. Done. Now continuing this statement, R who is sitting opposite to S. So R is sitting opposite to S. So S will sit at chair number five. The third condition, T sits second to the right of U. There are only two chairs left for T and U where T is sitting second to the right of U. So U will sit at chair number three and T who is second to the right of U will sit at chair number one. Okay. All right. So this is uh, the complete arrangement, right? Now the question is who sits third to the right of T. Now third to the right of T is P. So P that is option B is the correct answer of this question. So question number five, correct answer is option B. And let's move on and look at our next question. Now, friends, you are asking sir, critical reasoning pe session aapne conduct kiya hai. Uh, uh, friend, uh, I, I don't uh, teach critical reasoning. Okay. So you will not find any session on critical reasoning taken by me, but you will find plenty of sessions taken by Vikran sir or Nikita ma'am on our YouTube channel. Okay, so yes, you will find plenty of sessions on critical reasoning, but I don't take this subject. I could find one more session on calendars, which I have taken in the past. So Smruti, you can watch this session. So I have sent you two links wherein I have taught calendars. All right. Okay. Now question number six in a certain code T R I P P L E is written as S Q H O O K D. Okay. So you will have to uh, catch the logic. This one is very simple. Now T, the number equivalent is 20, S, the number equivalent is 19. So basically minus one has happened. So previous alphabet is written. Okay. Similarly for R, the number equivalent is 18 and Q is 17. So once again, minus one has been done. Now for all these alphabets, they are writing the previous alphabet in the code. Okay. So E, X, O, T, I, C, what we have to do is we just have to pick up the previous alphabet in every case. Now E minus one is D, X minus one is W, O minus one is N, so D, W, N, T minus one is S, so D, W, N, S, I already have the answer, option A, so option A should be the correct answer of this question, all right? So D W N S complete karte hai, it will be H B. All right. So option A, yes, it is the correct answer. All right. Simple question tha. Minus one, minus one, minus one has happened uh, with every alphabet. Question number seven on your screen now. Uh, Valari, not in this session, but I'll try to add uh, questions based on matrix based coding decoding. Okay, so I think you are uh, saying that uh, it's it's uh, like uh, there is a matrix three by three matrix in which one or two terms are missing. Uh, 
uh, are you talking about this type of questions if yes i'll definitely try to add it in my next sessions okay The question is, five men PQRST are reading a newspaper. The one who reads those, so basically we have to find out the sequence in which they are reading the newspaper. One, two, three, four, five. First one to read, second, third, fourth, and fifth one to read. Any other answer? Now the one who reads it first gives it to T. So that means T is the second one to read the newspaper. The one who reads it last had taken it from R. So R is the second last. That means fourth person to read. Q is not the first or the last one to read. So Q cannot be first or last. So Q has to be number three. Okay. And I think this is what we have to find out. Who is the third one to have read the newspaper? Okay, so who is the third one? So it is Q, that is option B, right? So no need to find the first place or the fifth place. So it's Q who is reading the newspaper at the third, uh, like uh, uh, like it's, it's the third one who is reading the newspaper. Okay, so option B, that is Q is the correct answer. Looking at our next question, question number eight. Now, this question is a slightly difficult. A question of coding and decoding, slightly difficult question. Let's see who will be able to answer this one. Such a silence, no one is able to answer this one. All right, Avni is the first one to give an answer. Avni, can you please write the logic? Sonu, you can also please write the logic. Come on, please support your answer with the logic. So now you are saying option B and now writing 1728. So please be clear among the two answers. Are you saying the answer is option A or option B? Okay, all right. I want a logic. I want a logic behind the answer. If anyone can write the logic as well. So Sonu, what is your final answer? Option A or option B?
So in a certain code language, BT is coded as 5832. Now how this set of alphabet is uh, related to 5832. Let's have a look at it. Now B is uh, number 2 and T is 20. Okay. Now using 2 and 20, it's difficult to make 5832. Okay. So there should be some proper logic here. Now, first of all, let me do one thing. Let me add these two numbers. So this number 5832 should be somehow related to these two numbers 2 and 20. 2 or 20 say kuch na kuch relation hona chahi. So let's look at the sum of these two. Sum is 22. 22 is still very far away. So I can look at the square or the cube of 22. Now the square of 22 is 484. Uh, the cube of 22 will be more than 8000. So 22 se to relation nahi hai. Okay. Now let's look at the difference of these two numbers. The difference of these two numbers 20 minus 2 is 18. Okay. Now let's check the cube of 18. Right. Now 18 square is 324 multiplied by 18 further. Right. I'm, I'm checking the cube of 18. I don't remember that. Okay. I, I do remember. But I think most of you would remember the square, the squares or cubes up till 15. Okay. So we'll check it out. 324 multiplied by 18. 18 se multiply kar lete hain. Ya fir easier way kya hai. 20 se multiply karo and 2 se multiply karke minus ka ho. So 18 se multiply karne ke liye 6, 4, 8, 0 minus 648. Okay, and I am getting it as 5832. So 18 cube is 5832. All right, so this is the relation that we were looking for. So the difference between these two numbers, the difference between 2 and 20 is 18, and 18 cube is 5832. Now you can calculate your answer. S is 19. And G is uh, 7. So 19 and 7, the difference is 12. So my answer should be the cube of 12. That is 1728. So 1728, that is option A, should be the correct answer of this question. All right. Slightly difficult one. But uh, yes, su such kind of uh, questions, such kind of logics can also be seen in our examination. Right. Okay. Chaliye, aage chalte hai. So that was question number 8. Let's move on and look at the next question, question number 9. How many triangles are present in the given figure? A very common type of question. How many triangles are there? Abhishek says there are 28 triangles. Anyone else who can confirm the number of triangles? Neon says 24. Sonu says 24. Avani says 28. All right. Again, different answers. Vishnu Nair says 28. Okay. Friends says 28. So a lot of you are saying 28. Valari says 28. Chalo, count karna shuru karte hai. So first of all, I'll count the smaller the triangles. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So these are 12 triangles. Right. Sabse chote wale triangles. Now, I'll erase these dots and we'll count the triangles which are made up of two triangles. Okay, so this is one triangle, 
right then this is another triangle in this figure in this square there will be four such triangles wait let me keep changing the color of the pens this is third okay and once again this is fourth okay or if i'll write the name of the vertices then it will be easier for you to recognize so if i'll say that this has a b c d four vertices so one of the triangles will be a b d then b c d okay a b d b c d then c d a and then d a c no no not d a c d a b all right so main dobara likh deta hu ye char triangles so a b c b c d c d a and d a b these are four triangles okay so in every square there will be four 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 triangles like this so there will be 12 more triangles done itna ho gaya so total kitne ho gaye 12 plus 12 24 now do we have any other triangles yes i have so if you look at this this is also a triangle theek hai 1 2 similarly another 2 will be drawn here 3 and 4 so these are another four triangles so 12 plus 12 plus 4 that is 28 triangles are there up till now right so 28 to clear ho gaya now can there be 30 triangles can i find two more triangles anyone shraddha says 30 triangles so shraddha any other triangle now uh, shraddha uh, i can say that this can also be a triangle ye ho sakta tha triangle but i can see that uh, this line is not a straight line ye straight line nahi hai so i will not take it as a triangle because this box and this box they are not of equal sizes okay so this line if it would have been a straight line then i could make one more triangle right so now i have to stop at 28 so there are only 28 triangles in this okay all right yes so shraddha that was not a straight line so i will not consider it a triangle otherwise i could have i would have right चलिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन ना द क्वेश्चन ऑफ अरेंजमेंट्स फाइव फ्रेंड्स राजेंद्र सुरेश अमेरा उदिता एंड विनीता आर सेटिंग इन अ रो फेसिंग नॉर्थ एंड देन देर आर थ्री कंडीशंस व्हिच आर गिवन एंड यू विल हैव टू फाइंड आउट हु इज सेटिंग टू द इमीडिएट लेफ्ट ऑफ उदिता Uh, Bhavi, you are saying that uh, my final year graduation BSc starting from July. Can I apply for CAT this year? Yes, yes, yes. If you will be graduated the next year, अगर आपकी graduation next year complete हो जाती है, then you are an eligible candidate to apply for CAT. Okay, so you will be writing CAT in November this year, right? Your graduation will be over the next year, and on the basis of uh, CAT examination. you will be getting admissions in mba for the next year so yes yes you are definitely eligible you can 
apply for CAT this year. Okay, so this is a simple arrangement. Five friends are sitting in a row facing north. Vinita is sitting exactly in the middle of the row. So one, two, three, four, five. Vinita is sitting exactly in the middle of the row, right? Tamira and Suresh are not sitting at any of the ends of the row. So Tamira and Suresh are not sitting at the ends. So they will be sitting either at uh, two or four. Okay. So Tamira and Suresh, I don't know the fixed position. So Tamira or Suresh, Suresh or Tamira. Fine. So Tamira and Suresh are sitting at chair number two and chair number four. They can switch their places. They can interchange their places. Right. Now statement number three, Tamira is sitting to the immediate right of Rajendra. Now, Tamira, if she is sitting immediate right of Rajendra, so Tamira cannot sit at chair number four, but can sit at chair number two. Okay, so Tamira will sit at chair number two and Suresh will sit at chair number four and Rajendra will sit at chair number one. Okay, now the last person Udita will sit at chair number five. So this is the entire arrangement. So who is sitting to the immediate left of Udita? So immediate left of Udita, it is uh, S, that is Suresh. Valari, yes, uh, there may be some questions which will be of this level of difficulty. I have covered some difficult questions as well. Okay, so the level of difficulty of every question is not same. Right? Out of 20 questions in a particular section, you will find some easy ones, some moderate, some very difficult. Okay. And, and understand that the, the number of questions which are very difficult, it's not very high. Okay. Okay. Chali. So question number 10 answer is option A. Next question, question number 11. Now, how many times are the minute hand and hour hand of a clock? at right angles to each other in the month of February 2020. Uh, Smruti, first of all, no sectional cutoffs and uh, you're asking how many questions should we get right for a ideal percentile. So Smruti, define ideal percentile for me. Okay, so there is nothing like that. Understand uh, the cutoff or the score depends on the level of difficulty of the examination. Every year, the level of difficulty is not same. So let's say if you are if you are targeting 95 percentile. OK, so there is no particular score at which you will be able to receive 95 percentile every year. OK, it keeps on changing. It depends on the overall level of difficulty. All right. So when you are attempting an examination like this, make sure that you attempt as many questions as possible with a very good accuracy. Okay, right? So always try to maximize your score. Ninety five percentile two eighty uh, two eighty means seventy correct yes okay so friends you are absolutely right so ninety five plus percentile agar chahiye so your score should be somewhere around two eighty to three hundred okay I'll not give you uh, a particular number but I'll give you uh, a range of uh, a range of numbers okay so two eighty plus ninety five ninety six ninety seven ninety eight percentile तक आ सकता है level of difficulty high हुआ you can achieve this at a lower score as well चलिए this question, how many times minute hand and hour hand of a clock are at right angles? Now, first of all, we'll have to find out what happens uh, like uh, or, or how many times uh, the hands are at uh, 90 degrees with each other in one day. Okay. In one day, this happens 44 times. Okay. I'll write a few things. So the hands of a clock are zero degrees with each other okay the angle between the minute hand and hour hand is zero degrees with each other okay uh, 22 times in one day similarly 180 degrees ka angle 
it ha it it is uh, it happens 22 times in a day and 90 degrees ka angle it happens 44 times in a day theek hai right so in one day 90 degrees the number of times it happens is 44 okay now they are talking about in the month of february 2020 now february 2020 2020 is a leap year so the number of days in february will be 29 so one day may 44 times so 29 days may kitni bar hoga 29 into 44 a multiply karlo and find your answer so 29 multiplied by 44 will be the answer of this question let's multiply these two number 4 into 9 is 36 3 carry forward 8 and 36 44 plus 3 47 4 carry forward 8 plus 4 is 12 so 1276 1276 is the correct answer of this okay so option b is the correct answer some of you have given this correct and let's move on towards the last question of the day Now, Mr. Manindra has, uh, has many birds as his pet. When he was asked how many birds he had, he replied that all but eight are swans, all but eight are parrots, and all but eight are doves. How many birds did he have in all? All right. So 12, 16, two answers. Now we need to understand, uh, we need to know the meaning of this statement, all but eight. All but eight ka matlab kya hota hai? So all but eight means, other than eight, all of them are swans, right? So all but eight are swans. That means other than eight, the remaining are swans. Similarly, other than eight, the remaining are the remaining are parrots, and then finally, other than eight are doves. Okay, all but eight are doves. Now, how to solve this one? Very simple mathematical way. So let's say the total number of birds that he has is X. Okay, total number of birds is X. Now, what will be the number of swans? Number of swans is all but eight, right? So that means eight ko exclude kar dete hai and remaining will be swans. So X minus eight are swans. Similarly, number of parrots is X minus eight and number of doves is also X minus eight, right? So these are the total number of birds. Now, if I'll add them x minus 8 plus x minus 8 plus x minus 8, this will become 3x minus 24. Okay. So this is the total number of birds and this can be equated to x, which is also the total number of birds that we have assumed at the beginning. Okay. So 3x minus 24 is equal to x. 2x is equal to 24. x is equal to 12. All right, so x is equal to 12. So the total number of birds that he has is equal to 12. Now you can cross check this one. Number of swans is x minus 8. That is 12 minus 8, which is 4. Number of parrots is also 4. Number of doves is also 4. 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 12. Okay, so cross check bhi ho gaya. Those who are saying 16 as the answer. Agar 16 answer hoga, so 16 minus 8. There will be 8 swans, 8 parrots and 8 doves. This adds to 24, not 16. So 16 answer nahi hoga. Okay? So answer will be question number 12. Alright? So option B, that is question number 12, is the correct answer of this question. Now for those who are talking about the level of difficulty of the questions that we are covering in this session. So friends, this one was difficult. The previous one was also difficult. And out of these 12 questions, we have covered 
four or five questions which were of higher level of difficulty right similar is uh, the mixture of the level of difficulty that you will find in your examination okay like i said that not all questions will be easy not all questions will be difficult so there will be a mix variety of questions that you will find in your exam all right so friends that is all from my side for today's session i will see you definitely the next time with many more questions and uh, would also uh, entertain some of the requests that you have uh, mentioned in this session okay now cmat 2024 specialized course is, uh, is is available for all of you you can enroll in this online classroom program at a special price of 3400 rupees right now this program has uh, these features there will be live lectures engaging videos mock test papers practice questions as well as sectional tests okay now you can also get up to 90 percent scholarship on cat preparation programs by writing a scholarship test on 7th of april at 11 am you can register for the scholarship test by visiting our application how to maximize your score in cat 2024 a free live interactive workshop will be conducted on 14th of april at 11 am visit our application to register for this workshop why how and when mba needs to be done to answer all these queries saral sir will be taking a free live interactive workshop on 17th of april at 7 pm all india open mock will be live starting 5th of april up till 14th of april so make sure that you attempt this free all india open mock for cat 2024 in this dedicated window you can also try our cat college predictor which is based on uh, the profile any doubts if you have you can fill in this form the url is here it is also there in the description okay so if you have any doubts any queries please fill in this form and we will get in touch with you get social with us on all these social media platforms thank you very much for being a part of this session have a wonderful time bye bye